Welcome back to Sophomore Intermediate's ACE Soccer Online Training Program. As you may already know, here you'll find some instructional videos on how to practice and improve some of your soccer skills. Here are some items you may need for the training. Place markers. A soccer ball. And water. You'll also need soccer cleats or athletic shoes, preferably without a flat sole. And if you don't have training cones, you can always use something else, such as an extra pair of shoes, some old balled up socks, or anything you might find lying around. In today's video, we're going to be going over lifting the ball. But as usual, let's start off with our warm-ups. Let's do some high knees. Next, we'll do butt kicks. Up next is high kicks. Skipping arm swings. And finally our sprints. As we mentioned before, Sometimes your team will be awarded a free kick or a corner kick. This means that you'll be able to either take a shot on goal from a distance or send the ball into the 18 yard box so that a teammate might be able to score. The thing about a free kick is that usually a wall of opponents is placed a few yards in front of the player who's about to take the shot on goal. This is used as an extra defensive measure to help the goalie cover the goal. When you have a wall of opponents in front of you, or when you're sending a cross from a distance such as a corner kick, you'll want to get enough lift on the ball to get over the obstacles in your way. To beat the wall of players, the shot must be taken so that the ball is lifted over the wall but not so much that it goes over the goal too. So how's this done? Well we're about to go over this. Usually you'd want to make contact mid ball to get your shot to either fly low or about waist height, but in this case you'll want to get as low on the ball as you can. To do this, there's a couple of things you can do. The first thing you'll want to do to try to lift the ball is start by picking a low point on the ball as a visual target. In this case, I'll use the logo. Once you've picked a low point on the ball, you can try striking it to see how high up you can get it. Remember, the lower you strike the ball, the better chance that it'll go airborne. Following through with the upswing on your kick will help scoop the ball up. Also, leaning your body slightly back as you kick will help with the upswing to lift the ball into the air. You might not get it in the first few tries, but as you practice this, you should see improvement. So to recap, pick a low point on the ball to use as a visual target. Bring your leg back and bend your knee. Swing your foot low and follow through with your kick, and lean your body back as you swing your foot and make contact with the ball to lift it. That'll do it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, and as always, stay tuned.